see. What's up, YouTube? What's happening, my young? What's happening, my ladies? <clears throat> ladies, y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop. Stop what, OG? Nothing. Fella, don't listen to no woman that tells you what a man won't do. A man won't, a man just wouldn't do that. Uh, a man just wouldn't miss. Let me tell y'all something about chicks like this here. They're not qualified to tell a black man what a black man, a real black man, what a black man would or would not do. And I'm going to tell y'all why. But before I do, y'all hit that like button, respect me to comment. Because I'm going to comment back. If I'm wrong, ladies, I'm wrong. But guys, if I'm right, give me that thumbs up. And support your OG. Man, check this out. You know why they ain't qualified. Because they ain't never met no good man. I'm just going to break it down for you. And they're going to take this however they want to. That chick that told you, that chick that told you, a man would, a, a, a man would do that for me. A man would do, let me tell you something. She don't know what a man is. She halfway knew her daddy, he ain't never did nothing for her. Her daddy wasn't ish. You hear me? What she did learn about him, what she did hear about him, he wasn't ish. You hear me? She got six brothers between the parents. Ain't now one of them having nothing that ain't ish. Yeah, I'm just being honest now. Because I get tired of them throwing that at y'all young and, and and some of y'all are making decisions based on off their words. And and I'm just telling y'all today they're not qualified. They have never been here it is. Even their uncles ain't ish. She got three kids with four potential baby daddies and all four of them Pookies and Ray Ray. Now she run across you. You a good normal dude. You work hard. You paying for your nice car. You paying your own rent. You able to save a couple of quarters. She feeling that stability. But as soon as you tell her ragged ass know about something, you know she's going to start telling you what a man would do for a woman or what a man wouldn't do. Man, that's all part of the witchcraft, man. Don't fall for that okie doke. She, she ain't qualified. She has not ran a phone or had any interaction with a positive hard working black man every black man she know takes shortcuts don't listen to them every man she meet is in the club at night she ain't met no bosses listen man I was a boss for a many a season here in the Mississippi Delta built a many a highway when we went when I had to go and build a road it might be outside of a rural town we might have to be there two weeks we go in and take over that whole town, just say, rent all the hotel rooms or houses and whatever, because we're going to be there a while. I knew other black bosses. So she, I don't know who, when I hear them say these things, what a man would do for a woman, no, no real man wouldn't go and buy you your kids or help your kids buy no school clothes and they took care of his own first. No, no real man wouldn't. With no real man with responsibilities with a woman that he got a child with or children with stops doing extra and supporting the mama because you think they got something going on. He going to be a grown man. So quit, tell, quit listening to her tell you that it's inappropriate for you to be getting along with your child's mama. She just hating. 
Damn, y'all got to snap out of this, man. Real talk, man. Y'all got to snap out of this. Y'all listening to these females ain't qualified to tell y'all nothing. Especially about what a man would and would not do. I'm qualified to tell you because I am OG. And I did. I was one of them fellas that worked my way up from blue collar into their corporate world and was successful at it. And I raised all my children on their own. Without any entitlements. I didn't accept them. I didn't believe in them. I knew for a fact how I was created. And if I was able to procreate, then I was able to take care of. Yeah. That's what she tell him. What a man. <laughs> Lord, uh, what a man. A real man, if you if, if I'd have asked a real man, a real man would have did it. No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. He wouldn't have did it. No, he wasn't. We don't throw away no money. We had it, but we don't throw away no money. We sure don't put no money in the Harry Bank. And age ain't got nothing to do with this. I know a lot of young men, like right across this street right now, I'm finna come up through this drive where this fire department had every fireman in this locus. They gave them all a raise. They 21, 23 years old, already making 46 grand. And I talked to them. And they got their nice cars in their own apartments. And I tell them the same thing. If she ain't gonna let you court them, forget dating them. Cause the data she gonna want you to spend. Quarter. Coordinate just y'all take a nice walk in the park. Y'all have a cup of coffee up. Go somewhere and have a drink. A cup of ice cream or something. Quit dating these women. Quit dating these modern women. I'm just saying, I'm out.